Hello everyone, welcome back to the vlog or welcome to the vlog if you guys are new here. My name is Olivia and today I'm so excited because I'm finally filming my first official video as a New York resident. So I'm so excited. I finally moved to the city. I have a video to post that's kind of like a life update. So hopefully you guys have already seen that, but it was just basically updating you guys on my life because things have been a little bit up in the air for a while now but i'm finally in the city i moved in a week ago yesterday so i've been here for like eight days the first couple days here were crazy because i had a couple of fashion week events to attend i went to a rebecca minkoff event and to revolve gallery with revolve and they were both so fun the rebecca minkoff i saw so many influencers that i followed for so long so it was so fun i was a little bit nervous to go up and talk to any of them because i was by myself i couldn't get a plus one for that event I was by myself so i was a little bit nervous but overall they were so much fun and I had so much fun going to all the different events and then going to dinners after and just kind of seeing everyone and all the fashion and also catching up with some of my friends who live here. So overall, it's been a really great week, but I'm so excited to be here finally and filming with you guys. Right now, I thought I would film an updated apartment tour for you guys. That's basically what today's vlog is going to be. I have most of my stuff for my room and most of the stuff for the apartment is like finished and done. There's a couple more things like artwork that need to go up, but for the most part, it's pretty much done in here. We had our friends over on a Friday night and it was just so fun getting to show everyone this space. I'm actually obsessed with this apartment. So I thought we could just jump right into the apartment tour starting off with my room so you guys if you haven't seen the empty apartment tour i would definitely go watch that it's one of the more recent videos i've posted but that was filmed back in july when i came here just for a couple days to visit but definitely go watch that if you haven't so you can see it, the full transformation but starting off with my room we'll come to the door okay so when you walk into my room we have my bed right here oh my god i just tripped over a box um my bed is right here so i have a this is the classic soft frame from soft frame designs and underneath it is just a box spring and then my mattress on top I get a lot of questions on the soft frame So basically the way it works They have a lot of videos on their instagram that you can go watch But I know for a lot of people it's a little bit confusing how it works But there's a box spring underneath and then this foam pad Basically runs all the way around the mattress and then there's just like a top sheet that covers it So you just cover the box spring with this foam padding and then underneath it. It's just like like it's just flat and there's the box spring right there So you have to buy a box spring to go underneath and then they just send you this and so mine is a full-size bed And this is a 2.5 inch one because the other one is like nine inches or something crazy And I just thought for the amount of space I had that'd be a little bit overkill So I definitely want to get the matching headboard I held off on the headboard for now because I wasn't sure what it would look like in here without it But now that i'm seeing everything kind of together. I definitely want to get the headboard my bedding So starting with the mattress my mattress is off amazon You guys would have seen that in my empty apartment tour because it arrived while I was here the mattress is off amazon and also i'll have everything linked down below so you guys can shop it and then for sheets i have the brook linen hardcore luxe bundle so they sent that to me but it's actually amazing my sister just bought it too because it's so nice and so cooling when you sleep on it and it just feels so high quality and for the price it's a pretty good price point it is expensive but for linens i think especially when you are becoming an adult like i am it's an area that you definitely want to splurge on just you have night sheets at night and then inside my duvet i have a queen size nestwell ultra heavy down comforter um so that's why it's a bit fluffier but i also always get one size bigger than my bed for duvet covers so that it kind of drapes over and it looks more oversized and fluffy on the bed um, and that is from Bed Bath & Beyond. I'll link it. It's pretty expensive, but I think for like the level of fill that it has in it, it's super warm and super cozy. So I would definitely recommend it and would buy it again. And then for pillows, these two pillows are from Parachute Home. I worked with them and I can't find them on their website now. I'll look again, but I can't find them, but I'll link a similar one if I can. I found some similar ones on Pottery Barn. And then I have like 22 inch pillow inserts inside that are again, one size bigger just so they look extra fluffy. But the pillow inserts were like $20 on Amazon for for both of them so i will also link those below and then these pillows inside of here are from like literally costco just two fluffy pillows to have in here for a little bit of extra decor and just kind of filling the bed and those sheets on that are brooklyn and sheets and then these are my eight dollar silk amazon pillowcases or i guess satin i just have those for like my hair and my skin and i buy since they're only eight dollars for a set of two i have two sets so that you can switch them out especially me who has like really bad skin i like to switch them out a couple times a week so that they're always fresh and even though i wash my face i find like i always get bronzer on the pillowcases 
so i love those they're super affordable so that's everything for my bed again i'll have everything linked below and then i also have two pieces of art coming today that i made i just made those little plaster canvases that i've seen all over tiktok so i made two of them so they'll go up above the wall and then over here is my nightstand i am absolutely obsessed with this nightstand i had my eye on it in like may and it was sold out and it came back a couple times but again just because i was in between maine and new york i didn't want to order it i don't know why the lighting is going in and out but i didn't want to order it without having anywhere to ship it in case i had to fly here and couldn't drive it down so finally came back in stock and i bought it it was 120 dollars, and i think it looks a lot more expensive than that so that is from nathan james it was super easy to build it took me like 20 minutes to build it and i love how big the dress the drawer is for storage for like my eye mask and planners and cords and all of that and then i just have on it my tom ford book the 002 edition which is the white one and then my architectural digest book um, and I just love how neutral it looks and I think it looks amazing next to my bed. So I absolutely love this. This is like my favorite view in the apartment. I'm just obsessed with it and I think it's so pretty and so neutral. I just love it. And I think again for the price point it's perfect because there are a lot of like $500 nightstands out there and I just think that's a little bit ridiculous for like my age and my first apartment. And then this shell dish is vintage so I can't link it but if I find something similar I'll link it as well. And then this lamp is from Target. I love this lamp. I think it's so cute and neutral and it's also pretty small which I like because I really wanted a small light so that it didn't kind of overpower the nightstand. And then this is my favorite light bulb. I'm actually gonna grab my phone to show you guys how it works. So I got this light from Home Depot and I don't remember what the name of it is, but basically you have all of these different tones that you can change the light to. So you can do like warm white, you can do cool, you can change it to any color you want. You can do it on like a relaxed mode. You can set a timer. You can put it on like fireplace mode. So I bought this lamp and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. And so like three of my friends have bought it since because it's just such a great lamp or it's such a great light. And like you have candlelight and it flickers. You can do it like a fireplace mode and the light was like $12. So and you can change the brightness of it. So I just think this is like a fun little extra thing and you can just change it at night and you can set the timer. So I just love that. So I thought I would just add that in for you guys, but I'm obsessed with that. And especially because I love doing like the red light at night so I can change it and also adjust the brightness depending on if I'm super tired or not. So love that. And then I haven't finished styling my nightstand. Obviously, I just have my little water cup and my Baccarat Rouge perfume on it. And then this is a candle. My friend's dad owns this brand called LA Home. I will link their website because we have a few things from there in our apartment. And this candle smells amazing. This is the Velvet Rose and Oud scent. There's a Baccarat scent that smells exactly like this candle that my boyfriend uses. And I'm obsessed with the scent of this. And then I just have my Baccarat perfume there. But that's that for the nightstand and for the bed. And then over here, I debated for so long. I just got this thing yesterday or two days ago because I did not want to have an AC unit in here. I thought they're so ugly. I thought that I would be fine with just my Dyson fan, but I was literally not sleeping. It gets so hot in here, even standing right here and filming with it off because it's so loud. I'm sweating. So I did have to cave and buy this thing. This thing was like $300 and I'm going to dread storing it in the winter. But honestly, I wasn't sleeping and so it's kind of essential and just had to do it. And then my tripod just kind of lives there right now. And then this rug is from Ikea. I definitely want to get a different one because it doesn't even go all the way over to my bed. It's pretty tiny. And so I think I want to get a new one, but just I had this one and I thought that for the time being it would be totally fine to use and just kind of have in the meantime while looking for another one and then over here we have my mirror this is from sam's club i found i saw it on tiktok and so i bought it it was it's 79 dollars online i somehow got it for 49 dollars but honestly it's such a nice little mirror and i think the size of it is perfect i love the shape i think it just adds a nice little flair compared to just a rectangular mirror i love that it goes all the way to the floor and it's actually pretty tall as you guys can see how small i look in it and i just think it's the perfect size super affordable and it doesn't like distort you at all so i thought for the price and also just for the shape of it i thought it was super great and loved it so i bought that i just am obsessed with like this whole outfit moment when i close the door i just think the room looks super clean and it's not too busy and i just love this this is like really what i wanted because obviously with like my social medias and stuff and influencing i wanted to have a space where i could photograph in it all the time and it wouldn't be too much and it wouldn't be too distracting from the outfits that i post so i think that this is like the perfect little view the only thing is i hate there's two of them there's one right here and there's one right here they're like these little balls that slam or that avoid the door slamming into the wall i hate them i think they're so ugly and i'm so tempted to edit them out of every single photo i post but honestly it's not worth it but that's that so i'm just obsessed with this i'm so happy with the way my room came together and honestly everything in here is really really affordable i know that the duvet cover and that stuff the sheets are pretty expensive 
but everything else and the soft frame but everything else is like under 150 dollars so i thought that was pretty great because obviously i didn't want to spend too much on my first apartment but just enough so that it's homey and cozy and that i love it and want to photograph it and then i also am looking for another print to go right there i thought that that would be like a good balance because i obviously don't want something on every single wall but i thought that if i put something here and then something on this wall it would be a good balance so let me know what your thoughts are let me know if you have any ideas for that because i definitely don't know what i want to put right there just yet but i have some ideas but if you have anything let me know also just gonna address this window our windows are so dirty and so stained but it's like the inside of the window we've tried cleaning them so many times we cannot get to the dirt like you can see the dirt you can see that it's inside the glass and you can't get to it you can't clean it they said they were gonna send window cleaners to try and fix it i don't know if they ever did but obviously it's so dirty and like cloudy and disgusting and i know we've tried cleaning them but it's just how it is we cannot fix it and so just gonna address it and move on so then over here is my closet so so just to give you guys kind of like a visual, here's the door out into the living room. And then here is my closet. We're super fortunate to both have closets in our room, except this closet is very tiny. So I'm having a tough time organizing everything. But on the back of the door, I just have this shoe rack. And also because my closet is so skinny, I had to find one that was pretty small across the top because some of them were too long and it wouldn't even fit across the top because it would just kind of hang off. But this I think is a 24 slot shoe rack and it's perfect for me because it fits everything and I love the neutral color again it's like a canvasy material i'll link a similar one because this is out of stock but i just thought that that was perfect just for my need and then again i found this little tiny dresser on amazon and i bought it it fits in here perfectly i had to build it three times because the first time i built it incorrectly i take it apart then i built it a second time and brought it in here and realized i couldn't turn it once it was inside the door so i had to take it apart and build it for a third time inside of the closet but this thing is actually a huge lifesaver because it just is perfect size to put like basics athletic clothes those pajamas like underwear bra socks all of that just the easy to reach stuff that I want all the time in my closet in here and then just have it in these little drawers that also give me like a shelf to put other stuff so in this little basket I'll have all the baskets and stuff in here linked also in this basket I have my makeup and my hairbrush and then in that basket I have like all my hair products and stuff that I want when I get out of the shower and then in here, I mostly just have like tops, some sweaters, button downs, dresses, things like that. My, some of my trousers are hung up in there. And then on the top, I have baskets that have sweaters in it because I like to fold my sweaters so that the shoulders don't get all stretched out. Obviously, I'm 5'1", so this is not a very easy system for me because I obviously have to take the whole basket down whenever I want to wear something. But the ceilings are so high up in there that I couldn't waste the space and just have to make some sort of system. So I think I'm going to buy a stool that is going to go in here, which will aid me a little bit in grabbing the baskets but honestly it's not that big of a deal so we're just gonna make do with what we have but those baskets are great they're like $20 each from Target and they're so sturdy and hold so much and especially because I have so many sweaters I thought that was perfect and exactly what I needed so that is the full closet and I'll also have these hangers linked because these hangers are great they're the velvet ones off Amazon and I just think that having all matching hangers makes your closet look so much nicer and so much cleaner and it's just a huge hack for it looking more organized especially in a small space like this so I'll have everything linked for you in there so that's it for my room and I'll head out into the living room and I'll show you guys the stuff out there. Okay, so when you open my door, this is the view that you have. Obviously, right here we have my Dyson fan. This is temporary, but since it's so hot right now, this fan is so nice because it oscillates and actually kicks off a lot of air. So for us, it's perfect and has been keeping us cool at night. It's expensive, but I got it on sale, so I would recommend it, but honestly, a regular fan does the trick too. I just like that it has an air filter so it kind of sucks the dust out of the room for you. And so I'm just going to give you guys like a little view of everything before we go through and walk through everything. But I'm just obsessed with the living room. I love how white everything is and I just think it came together so well and it looks so beautiful. So first things first, the dinner table. This dinner table is off of Wayfair. It's just a little tulip table. You guys know these things are so popular right now and you can honestly get them anywhere. So I'll have that linked. Our chairs are off a of Target. I'm obsessed with them. They're relatively affordable for a chair of that style. I'm sure you could find cheaper ones, but these are very sturdy and feel very nice when you sit in them. So we really would recommend these chairs. And then these coasters are also off a of Target. And this candle, everyone says on TikTok that it smells like the Brazilian bum bum cream that everyone obsessed with it's the salted honey candle from target so i'll link this also if i can find it i think it might be sold out but i'll look for it but i just love the dinner table i think it's so cute and so cozy and i think it's really cute especially because we had to obviously put it in the center of everything that is the door into the apartment so it really is the first thing you see when you walk in so for us we wanted to make it cute and we kind of wanted to spend some money on it to make it look nice um, and i'm really happy with how it came together and then over here if you guys follow me on instagram you'll saw that i found this little boucle like stool thing at 
at home goods and since we don't have anything else right here for the moment this thing is living here and on top of it is like a little irregular shaped mirror from Zara home that we fell in love with and we want to put two of them on this wall and we have the second one in here we're just waiting for a task rabbit to come and hang them so obviously another thing needs to be hung and it's not completely done yet but for the most part this place is done and I really want to show you guys so we're gonna have the two mirrors hung up there and I think it's gonna look cool it'll open the space up a little bit because it's a mirror and we'll just kind of tie in all of the black accents so I'm excited for those to go up but that has just been living there for the time being because it's honestly really big and heavy and just to keep it out of the way it's been sitting on this stool but the stool is so cute it's a great CB2 dupe and then just on top of that we have the Amelia on door cafe Amelia on door print that we made in our beach house that we still have that we brought here and that covers like the electrical box that's back there so that is perfect and again just because it's white it kind of blends in and look a little bit more pulled together so that's that and then on the opposite side of the table we have the closets that's a package I need to return so just ignore that for now but we have these two closets so this closet in here is for clothing and this is like our utility closet so I'll show you guys it looks a little bit chaotic because we both have so much clothing so this is the closet all in its glory we both have our laundry baskets out here and then just a coat rack for everything and then up above we have our different baskets I have like my Dyson hair dryer in there and some extras I was waiting for another organization thing to come in and when it came in I built it it was way too big so I need to reorganize these two baskets because those were just temporary um, but I need to find a more permanent solution for both of those and then also go through those boxes up there and organize that a little bit but for the most part it just is a bigger outdoor closet that holds a lot of our coats and like blazers and also our handbags we have these little handbag racks that are brilliant and you just put them in the closet and you can stack all your bags inside of them and it saves it from being like damaged or squashed and I just put my sunglasses in the top one but those were a great find and then I just have these new Everjay pajamas. I'm obsessed with these. They sent them to me and they're so nice. So just throwing that in there, I need to film with them. But but that's that. We're so grateful to have this outdoor closet because I really don't know what we would do if we didn't because obviously, as you saw, my closet is tiny. So super happy to have those. And honestly, it's nice that this is a closet wall instead of just a big blank wall because it's a great use of the space, obviously. Okay, and then we come in here and this is where we just have like all of our cleaning supplies are on the shelf. I'll link the shelf for you guys because it's great for small spaces. Our trash can and then recycling bin and then just ironing board drying rack vacuum all that stuff and then up above we have our reusable bags and an air mattress in case anyone comes to stay but that closet is pretty boring so and a headband that one of my friends left here so that is that for now there's nothing really interesting in that closet and then you come over here to our little kitchen area. We have two white towels that get hung up here, but they're in the wash right now, so they're not up. As you can see, all of our cooking dishes are in there and just live in there for storage purposes. Over here, we have this little butter dish that is so cute. This was sent to me by a brand, and then a little marble utensil holder and wooden cutting board. I think the wooden cutting board really just softens everything up and kind of ties it all together and warms up the space. I think also another little hack for making your space look more put together is having all matching cooking utensils everything looks put together and nice and nothing's like sticking out or drawing too much attention to it and then over here we have a spoon rest a marble spoon rest the this is from target this is from home goods that's like a little salt holder and this is another candle from la home so again i'll have those linked but it smells phenomenal it's so beautiful it has like a little wax stamp on it with their little logo on it so we love that it's so cute over here we have our way hand soaps thank you way for sending me these we're actually obsessed with these we get so many comments on these every time someone comes in so if you're wanting to splurge on a hand set these smell amazing I actually can't get over the smell it's the Dean Street scent and I don't have anything else from them that smells like this and this just makes the space look so nice and so put together so we're obsessed with those we love them I just think they look so nice and they really just elevate the space and then we have a dishwasher down here actually it's like a little drawer but since we hand wash our dishes and we don't really use the dishwasher we just use it as a drying rack and leave it like a crack open when the dishes are drying in there because it's just easier because obviously there's not a lot of counter space in here so we don't really have room for a drying rack so that just works for us in the time being then we have our washer dryer we love these this is insane that we have these in here and we're so grateful to have these the fridge is here we got a lot of questions last time about where our fridge is it's in here it's very tiny because it's obviously a small apartment and then freezers down there and then just some extra storage up above this one is like our food pantry and then the rest of it have like cooking utensils and all that stuff in it. And this is my new favorite corner. I am obsessed with this. So this is the Smeg two slice toaster in the cream color. I absolutely love it. I'm so happy I picked it out in cream because you can't really see it as much on camera, 
but it is a true cream color and it really just softens up the space and I didn't want something else that was just stark white like the rest of the place. So I'm really obsessed with it. My parents got me that as a little gift and it's so beautiful. It's so worth it. So again, if you're looking to splurge on something, definitely recommend. And then this little jar is from West Elm. This has my Nespresso pods and this is my Nespresso Virtuo machine. And I've fallen back in love with this thing because for the longest time I didn't have any pods to go with it. So I love this thing. I just put my coffee over ice and it turns out perfect every morning. So I've been loving this. And again, I love the cream and the white together. I just think it looks so cute. And then directly over here, we have the quote unquote living room. Obviously, it's an open space, so everything is just kind of one and the same. This couch is amazing. We got this for six hundred dollars off an Am off of Amazon, and honestly, for a white couch, we had a really, really hard time finding a couch that was small enough for the space and also wasn't three thousand dollars. So for us, this was perfect because you can wash some of the cushions, and if it gets stained, it's six hundred dollars. So we split it, so it wasn't that bad per person, and so we have some room if we need to buy a new couch. But just for what we need, and for just the two of us. This thing is actually perfect and it just fits the space so well. I think it's so cute. And so we love this couch. And when it starts to get a little bit stained, like obviously you can see there's some dirt on it right there. We're just gonna buy a Bissell to keep it clean. So hopefully it doesn't cause us too many problems, but so far so good. This blanket is from Target. And we just have it right here because it's kind of like a high traffic area. So to avoid rubbing it or like spilling stuff on it, we just have the blanket right there to cover it. And then this rug was kindly sent to us from Rugs USA for the apartment. We love it. It's just a white fluffy shag rug. Um, but we love that it's kind of not like stark white. Again, just kind of balancing out the white tones in here. And it's just so fluffy, so comfortable on your feet. And then we have this coffee table. This coffee table is under $60. And I think for the shape and the size of it, that was great. We again struggled to find a coffee table that wasn't too big and also wasn't like $400 because some of them are crazy expensive and for a coffee table we really don't want to spend that much and then we just have a ton of coffee table books on it because the two of us have a ton of coffee table books we love them so we just all brought like our collection and then kind of just put them all and styled them onto the table and then under there we have a couple candles and then the girls bathroom party game down there in the corner and then just coffee table books and then again more coasters over here and then this little match bowl I highly highly recommend starting to like collect matches with your friends of your favorite restaurants or anywhere that you go because they're so fun just to look through and just kind of like remember the time you went there so would definitely recommend and then the remotes usually are stored under here so you don't have to stare at them and look all ugly but that is that we love that we love this little moment right here and then this tv is just off amazon it's like a smart tv because we don't really use cable anymore we just use all of our like streaming services and then this cord cover this cord cover is a game changer i got these off amazon and just kind of put them on they're very sticky so i have a feeling they're gonna pull the paint off and then also over here we have this little lamp this was sent to us from bright tech so thank you bright tech we're also obsessed with this lamp and in that we also have the color changing light bulb so we can change it to like a warm white cool white anything we want because the lights in here are a little harsh at nighttime the recess lighting is very bright as you can see so at night when we're just watching tv and we want to relax we'll put that on to the warm light setting and it's just so cozy in here it's so nice and we just put on the tv and watch and just kind of sit on the couch and enjoy so that's kind of what it looks like from far and then i'll go to the other side of the kitchen so you guys can see what it looks like from over here and obviously we have the graphic from the tv playing but yeah that's mostly it for the most part but i'll take you guys to the bathroom also we have some washing in there right now so this is the bathroom we have this bath mat which i got from home goods it's actually terrible it's shedding everywhere um so we're getting a new one but then we have the shower is over here. This shower is actually massive for the space. I'm not really sure why they made it this big because then you come over to our sink and the sink is actually tiny. It's almost the size of my hand. So it's very hard to like wash your face. I usually wash my face just in the shower because there's simply no way you could wash your face in that without getting water everywhere. Um, but then behind the door, we just have a towel hook and then these amazon little sticky shower caddies are the best things ever would highly highly recommend we have them in every apartment that we live in because they're just so nice and then we have this mirror which is also a vanity cabinet so we love having you know like everything all the products displayed on the top and it's just nice to have that extra storage because again the sink is not really doing anything for storage and then underneath we just have some extra toilet paper rolls but yeah that's basically it but again they definitely could have made the sink a little bit bigger that's like my only complaint about this apartment is that that sink is terrible but that is it for now. That's basically the 